Hi, I'm Rolof, and today we're going to focus on thread milling on the Covera CNC machine. I will use Fusion 360 to create the G-code file and then mill with some custom threaded milling bits that we will make available on our store soon. Now there's a few standards when it comes to thread milling, like the size of the initial hole versus the size of the bit versus the required M thread size. Another thing to note is that you generally get two types of threads, coarse, which is the most general type of thread, and you also get a fine thread, which is more used in heavy duty industrial environments. So for this example, we're going to use coarse thread. This is the M5 bolt that comes with your machine. And there's a general guide to which size hole to mill to get the required M size. You can screenshot this list just to take note of that. So I will be milling a 4.2 millimeter hole into the material with the eighth of an inch bit and then use the M5 tapping bit, which has a cutting diameter of four millimeter to mold the thread. I'll first do some tests into tooling board and then move on to aluminium. On the eighth inch scale, the bits are quite fragile. So I do recommend taking it easy at first and testing on a softer material before going into non-ferrous metals. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. So I'm here in the manufacturing tab. I've modeled up a 30 by 30 square with three holes in there. The material thickness is 10 mil over here. And then this is a four millimeter hole. This is a 4.2 millimeter hole. And this is a 4.4 millimeter hole. Just to show you guys the difference between the, the different sizes. This is the recommended hole size. That's the center one. That's a 4.2 millimeter hole. So let's start by just creating a G code file with just to bore these three holes. So first I'll just set up the stock over here. I'll, this will be a milling operation. I have selected by machine three axis Makira. I will, I don't have to put any offset on the stock. So no additional stock. Um, I will use the stock box point. I'll use this as my origin at the top of the stock. Remember that. And then center of the stock orientation we don't have to change anything here hit okay so there's the setup our stock is set up i don't, I don't have every i'm just drilling the holes so we don't need any other operations on the outside and the inside so first we'll go to bore then i will disable the coolant over here i'll go select my tool i'll just use the 3.175 25 mil end flute Let's just select this one and then this has already been all, everything here has been set up already. Um, this is the standard tool setup for Fusion 360. You can download this from the website. Um, then I'll select the faces that I want to draw. It's this one, this one, and this one. Now looking at this, the angle seems a bit low. Um, we, we're just milling into tooling board at the moment. But I'm actually gonna keep it this way so I don't have to change this file if I do it into aluminum. So you can have a look here. This is where you change the angle. You can see at the moment it's very dense. If you want to change this, you can tell if you go to five degrees, you can see then the bit has got less load on it. So I'll keep it at two. Um, just make sure the right tool is selected. That's tool number one. I will reduce the feed rate to 500. And then We've got the three faces. The top height is the whole top. So the top of the hole is offset from that. The bottom height is the whole bottom. If you wanted to cut through, you can just say minus 0.5 over here. Then it'll actually cut through the bottom. So that's our first operation. Let's just check if this is the correct simulation. So it'll bore down like this. This will be very fast because it's very close and the next one will be a little bit slower. And this one will be even more slower. So that's what we want to drill the holes. You can see they through and then we'll go to the next operation, which will be thread. Now, first thing is the tool. We have to set up the tool first. So I'll just go here to spare to I've already set up mine, but I'll just show you how to set it up again. So we are using a thread mill. Um, the description here is an M5 thread mill. 
M5 thread mill. And now here you specify your cutting sizes and diameters. So it's a thread mill. We're gonna use millimeters, clockwise spindle rotation, number of flutes, then you reference it back, back to the bit. My flute has got, of my, my bit has got four flutes and then the material is carbide. Now the diameter, now you kind of have to use this as a reference. This diameter is not the flute diameter. This is the top part of your tool or the bottom part where the, it's not the flute size. It's just the bottom part of the tool which you are able to cut with. So this mine is 2.8 millimeter. The shaft diameter is 3.175, the eighth inch. The overall length is 40. The length below the holder, that's from the top of the collar, is 28 millimeters. The shoulder length is 12 millimeters. The flute length, now this is this part over here, 0.8. The thread pitch, now this is important, you reference this back to the spreadsheet I showed you earlier. This is 0.8. Number of teeth is one, that's the amount of teeth, mine only has one. And the thread profile angle is a standard, is 60 degree. And then you'll go to shaft. Now the height of the center part of the shaft is 0.5 millimeter. This is just where it goes from the one diameter to the second diameter, that's 0.5. The upper diameter is 3.175 and the lower diameter is 2.8. 2.8. And then the holder. I'll just use a default holder. Next is the Pro's processor, the tool number two in my tool rack. And then we hit accept. There's our tool, I can select it now. The surfaces that we are milling are these ones. Height, if you wanted to cut a little bit through, just say 0.2. Then I'll go to my passes. Now my thre thread pitch has already been allocated, but we're doing this in tooling board initially. So I will for, I will make two files, one with just a single pass and then one with multiple passes. Now here you could set the amount of step overs that you want, but for this, for this type of milling bit, I would probably go, let's just, if I do 0.1, into the aluminium, that should be fine. For the foam, I can just do one pass, that's fine. But for the aluminium, I'll do a second pass. And at the end linking, we don't have to mess with that. Then we hit okay. Then we can just simulate this. Now this is just the, not for commercial, this is just the personal use hobby version of Fusion. So I'll first just export the first file. I'll, I'll call this one thread, post that. And the second one, get you good. I'll call this two thread, post. Then we've got our two files. I'll open my controller. So I'll just upload the files then from here, upload file, find it under downloads. There's one thread, upload that. Two thread, upload that. Close, find the first one, select it. Then you can see this is now just the thread milling one. So I'll run this. I don't have to do an auto leveling on this. The material is pretty flat. I'll do a Z probe. And scan margin I don't really need. And then I'll hit run.
And there you have it, thread milling. I hope this video was helpful and you can take something from this. We would love to see you join our community on the Discord channel. Links to our other social medias in the video description. And like and subscribe to see some more of these videos. Cheers.